if you think about what's transpired in the last week, and I think it was aided by what we were able to do, there will be no state that will be able to do this in the dark of night. Because what we were able to do is shine a light that this is an issue and we want the business community to be focused on it. Don't think that that signal is not powerful. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is raise the awareness. And this is another thing that we've said, CEOs now need to be accountable. Yeah. Because as we said in our statement, there is no middle ground. Exactly. No middle ground here. Exactly. And, and, and I think that's what most people, especially in the black community, are concerned about is that the light will dim if there's not activity in the street to keep it alive. I mean, that, that's the real heart and soul of an activist that we got to keep acting, we got to keep agitating, we got to keep pushing because a lot of times people make commitments, but they don't follow through with the action. And so we know that a lot of these corporations made these equity commitments. And that's one of the things that Al, myself and John Lewis's son emphasized in the, the letter that we, we did openly um, and did one previously behind the scenes before the legislation passed Ambassador Young and the three of us did a letter to corporate leaders, some of the same that you talked about, to get them to kind of support this in a way that we wouldn't be where we are today. And that didn't happen. I don't feel like they, they went far enough, um, to be honest with you. Um, but the bottom line is, how do we make sure that those commitments they made out of their mouth? And here in Atlanta, they made racial equity commitments with the chamber. You know, we, we want to see action and unfortunately, the oppression of black people has been so long, people are tired of this extended timetable. Right. Just keep waiting, we are getting there. I mean, that was the issue of why my father wrote the book, Why We Can't Wait and the letter from the Birmingham jail, all of that. So um, it's good to know that, that we have people, unlike when he wrote it then, in the room. Right. And everybody needs to hear that. You, what, what you're saying to us and what I hear is that as family, you are doing your part and we hear you, we feel you, we hear you, and we got a position of empowered influence now and we need you to trust us on, on this. Right. Um, not saying that you got to stop what you're doing, but just know that we, we have a strategy here and we need just a little bit of trust here. So are you saying we can trust y'all? <laughs> no, and, and I think what's important, Bernice, that's happening and that's why this forum is so important. And that's one of the things that both Robert and I and many others, we have to engage at all levels in our community. Yes. That communication is important. What we're doing now is absolutely critical. So people know that we're working on multiple levels to move forward to racial justice, to economic justice that yes. we need. And, and so the focus needs to be, we all are playing different roles, but we won't know that if we don't communicate and talk to each other. Exactly. Right. We, we are a community and everyone has their role in a community. You know, some are the providers, some are the, the preachers, some are the, you know, the, the school teachers, some are the daycare. We, we, we all have a role in this ecosystem. It mm -hmm. is important. It is important that people take to social media and hold companies accountable and hold people accountable if we are getting the progress that we want. We're going to continue to do our part. We'll continue to do our heavy lift. But it is important that the activists continue to push and push and push. Everybody's got a role. We're all in this ecosystem and we're all in this community together. That's the only way we're going to we're going to actually continue to evolve. But we are now have access to this to this bounty that, that is America. I, I, I love this idea of you know, love implementing the demands of justice. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. We need to make sure we love ourselves and love our community and demand justice for our people. 